clearly in the, in the luxury brand category, you guys are at the very top. And I think you talk about Hublot as, as a lifestyle, not just a watch. Can yes. you start to explain a little bit about the marketing strategy? Yes, the, the, uh, we thought that we would need image transfers. <clears throat> because remember, we started, in fact, in 2004. In 2004, we were doing 26 million, which means we didn't exist. 26 million in the world is nothing. Um, now we do half a billion, so we still not exist, because half a billion is also nothing. But for our industry, the Swiss watch industry is very small. We, are the, we have the 15th biggest turnover. <laughs> We've only 500 million. So it's a very small business, the Swiss watch industry. Nevertheless, uh, we believed that we would need uh, image transfers because we could not just sell because of fusion. If you say to somebody the art of fusion, nobody understands what it means. Uh, if we say I combine the past and the future, that's philosophy, nobody understands. So we believed, uh, first we said our customer, who is my customer? And we said my customer is a young woman, a young man that have certain characteristics. They are entrepreneurs. They are leaders. They are trendsetters. And they are successful, and they can afford a $30,000 watch. That is my customer. That's how I saw my customer. That's how I, we have chosen this customer. Now, once we have done this, how do I reach him? How do I speak to him? Through art of fusion? No. So we believed we could use sport as an image transfer, as a communicating tool. And uh, sport, why did we choose sport? Because sport is linked historically to watchmaking. Because in sport, you have the time. And in, base, in basketball, the last second is sometimes the most important. Uh, in the 100 meter run, at a hundredth of a second is the most important. So we have always been in our industry, watch industry, Swiss watch industry, linked to sport. And so we believed that we had a good reason here with sport. Then, number two, in sport, you learn how you overcome defeat. Thanks to every defeat, you come closer to success in sport. That is the magic rule of sport. Learn from your defeats and transform each defeat into the next success. This is ethically an incredible great uh, value and great asset. And every leader knows that. Every trendsetter knows it. Every successful entrepreneur knows it. So we said, we are close to our entrepreneurs. We are close to our customers. And number three, we saw that more and more money was going into sport, not just here in the States, but all over the world. Football, soccer, called in, uh, uh, in, in, in the US language. Soccer, uh, suddenly we discovered, is not anymore a popular sport because it's popular horizontally, but it's popular vertically, from young to old from politician to students, from man to woman, everybody is in, 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 in soccer. So those are the major reasons why we took uh, sport and soccer as one of the communicating tool for our brands. Right, and I think you talk about go to where your potential customers can be found as, as a strategy. Now, the other strategy, absolutely right. Very often in the, the professors, in marketing books, they say a brand should concentrate on one sport. The brand has to stand for one sport, or two eventually, or whatever, or for Hollywood, or forever, or for art, or for music. And we said, no. We need to follow wherever my customer goes. If my customer goes to Saint-Tropez or to Palm Beach, I must be in Palm Beach. If my customer goes to Aspen, goes to Courchevel in France, we must be in Courchevel. If my customer plays polo, we must be in polo. If my customer 
place, uh, what is going to watch football. I need to be in football. I need to be in baseball. And if every time my customer moves in his free time, in his leisure time, and every time he sees me, he starts to believe unconsciously that I belong to his lifestyle. And when he believes that I am part of his lifestyle, I don't need to sell him the watch. It's done. (laughs) 